Keeping up with the AI advancements can be exhausting. One day it's a new chatbot that can write poetry and the next it's a model predicting stock trends. According to a report from the World Economic Forum, 85 million jobs are going to be replaced by AI by 2025, but at the same time, 97 million new roles will be created in areas like AI development, data science, and human AI collaboration. So how do you stay ahead in this rapidly changing data-driven world? By building real, hands-on AI projects. Working on projects not only helps you understand AI concepts better, but also prepares you for real-world challenges. Is the best way to learn, grow, and make your skills future-proof. In this video, I'm sharing 10 AI project ideas, 5 for beginners and 5 for advanced, designed to give you the practical experience you need. Whether you're just starting or ready to tackle the big stuff, these projects will help you build something meaningful while also making your resume stand out in this competitive field. So the very first project idea that we'll be discussing is the product recommendation system. This is a system used by companies like Amazon, Netflix, and Spotify to suggest products, movies, or songs based on what users like. A product recommendation system is an algorithm that analyzes user behavior to suggest products that they might like. For example, the system or the algorithm might recommend phone cases or screen protectors if someone buys a phone. This makes shopping more personalized and engaging. An interesting fact before you dive into this project, Amazon's 35% of sales come through product recommendation engine itself. This tells you how valuable this project would be if you were to make a career in any e-commerce company. The first step in this project is to gather and pre-process data such as user ratings, browser history, or product descriptions. You can find a sample data at Kaggle or UCI repository. You'll then use machine learning techniques to develop the recommendation model. Popular methods would include collaborative filtering, where you recommend items based on what similar users have liked or content-based filtering where you recommend items similar to what a user has shown interest in before. Now, the tech stack for this project would include Python as the main programming language with libraries like Pandas for data handling, Scikit-learn for building machine learning models, uh, KNN for collaborative filtering, or decision trees for content-based filtering. You can also use Flask for building a simple web app to display the recommendations to users. Completing this project will give you hands-on experience in machine learning, data manipulation, and web development. From a resume perspective, this project is a great addition because product recommendation systems are widely used in many industries like e-commerce entertainment, like Netflix or Spotify, and online services. Now, the second AI project idea is cancer disease detection. This project uses artificial intelligence to help detect cancer at an early stage, which can be crucial for saving lives. Now, in order to get started, you will need a data set that contains labeled medical images of cancerous and non-cancerous cells. There are several data sets available online, like the Cancer Image Archive, TCIA, that can help you with this. Once you have your data, the next step is to pre-process it. For medical images, this might involve converting them into numerical arrays or normalizing them to ensure consistency. For the tech stack, you will be using a combination of Python and deep learning libraries. The most popular deep learning framework is TensorFlow or PyTorch. Now, these libraries are great for building and training machine learning models. You will also work with CNNs, which are specifically designed for image recognition tasks like this one. CNNs analyze patterns in the medical images and then classify them as either cancerous or not. Now, to handle the data, you can use Pandas and NumPy. You can also use Flask or Streamlit to create simple web app for your algorithm. This way, doctors can upload images and your AI system will analyze them and give predictions on whether the image shows signs of cancer or not. Now, what's the benefit of working on this project? By working with the real-world medical data and applying deep learning techniques, you'll develop technical skills in AI, machine learning, and data processing. Now, this can prove to be highly valuable for your resume. Completing this project will demonstrate that you can work with large data sets, develop models, and even deploy AI systems, which are skills in high demand. Now, moving ahead to the third project idea. Businesses and consumers rely heavily on online reviews to make decisions. However, reading through thousands of reviews to understand customer opinions can be time-consuming. This is where sentiment analysis comes in. It's a technique in artificial intelligence that can automatically determine whether a review is positive, negative, or neutral. Through this, businesses are able to quickly gain valuable insights into customer feedback. The project will begin with collecting product review data, which is publicly available from sources like Amazon or Yelp, and then pre-process it. For the model, we will use machine learning techniques, specifically natural language processing, to understand and analyze the text. 
Initially, a simple model using techniques like bag of words or TF-IDF combined with a classifier like logistic regression can be implemented. Later, you can enhance the model using deep learning with RNNs or LSTM, which is long short term memory, for better accuracy, especially for complex sentences. On completing this project, you will not only boost your understanding of NLP and machine learning techniques, but also make your resume stand out. This project will demonstrate your ability to handle both data pre-processing and model building, skills that are highly sought after in AI and data science roles. Additionally, it's a great way to get hands-on experience with Python and machine learning frameworks, both of which are valuable in the tech industry. Moving on to the fourth project idea. Job seekers today face a major challenge, getting their resumes noted by recruiters. Many companies use an applicant tracking system or ATS to filter resumes before they even reach a human recruiter. These systems scan resumes with specific keywords, job titles, skills, and qualifications. If a resume doesn't match these criteria, it may never get seen by a hiring manager. Now, the goal of this project is to build a system that can automatically pass and extract important information from resumes. This makes it easier for ATS to process resumes and for recruiters to find the most qualified candidates. The resume passer should be able to extract details such as the candidate's name, contact information, skills, education, work experience, and certifications from various resume formats like PDF, DOCX, and plain text. It will also analyze and categorize this information, helping job seekers optimize their resumes for ATS. In order to get started with this project, we'll use natural language processing or NLP to extract and understand the content of resumes. For passing different formats, you can go ahead and use libraries like PDF, Miner, or DOCX in Python. You can then employ machine learning models for keyword extraction, entity recognition, and classification to identify and organize this information. There are also libraries such as Spacey or NLTK that can be used for text processing. Once that is done, we might also want to integrate a simple scoring system that ranks resumes based on the match to a job description. Completing this project adds immense value to your resume and skill set. You'll gain hands-on experience in working with text data using libraries and tools commonly used in industry for NLP tasks. You'll also understand how ATS systems work and learn about their role in modern hiring processes. This project will strengthen your proficiency in Python, machine learning, and NLP, making you a more attractive candidate for roles in data science, AI, and software development. Plus, it will give you a practical project to showcase, demonstrating your ability to solve real-world problems and adding a highly relevant skill to your resume. Moving on to the fifth project idea. This project focuses on a world where machines can see and interpret the environment just like humans. Real-time object detection is all about teaching computers to identify and track objects in live video feeds, such as recognizing a car, a pedestrian, or even a stray animal crossing the road. The problem this project addresses is simple yet impactful. In many industries, from autonomous driving to security systems, there's a need for technology that can detect and respond to objects in real time. Without it, processes remain slow and manual, and in some cases, this delay could even lead to accidents or inefficiencies. This project allows you to bridge that gap by creating a system capable of detecting objects instantly, enhancing safety and efficiency. You'll begin by collecting a dataset of images with labeled objects such as COCO or Pascal VOC. These labels help train your model to recognize different items. Then you can go ahead and use a pre-trained deep learning model like YOLO, You Only Look Once, or SSD, Single Shot Detector, which are designed for speed and accuracy. With frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch, you'll fine-tune the model, feeding it data and teaching it to detect objects in real-time video streams from a webcam or CCTV camera. Finally, you'll integrate OpenCV for video processing and visualization. The text tag includes Python for coding, TensorFlow or PyTorch for building the AI model, and OpenCV for handling video feeds and a GPU to process the data quickly. You'll also use libraries like NumPy and Pandas to manage the data. For your resume, this project will showcase your expertise in computer vision, machine learning, and handling real-time data, which are sought-after skills in the AI job market. On the other hand, for organizations, the benefit is enormous, whether it's enhancing surveillance systems, improving vehicle automation, or optimizing industrial workflows. Moving on to the sixth project idea. For a business that receives customer queries day and night, hiring people to answer these questions 24 into 7 can prove to be expensive and sometimes inefficient. 
This is where chatbots can help. A chatbot is an AI-powered assistant that can understand customer questions and provide instant answers, saving time and money while improving customer satisfaction. To build this project, you'll start by defining the purpose of your chatbot. Will it assist with customer support, book appointments, or maybe help users navigate a website? Once you figure out the main category of support, you'll need to gather or create a data set of common questions and answers related to your topic. Next, you'll use tools like Python and frameworks like Flask or Fast API to create a conversational interface. For the AI brain, you can use pre-trained models from libraries like Hugging Face, which help the chatbot understand and respond to text. The backend might use an NLP model like BERT or GPT. These models analyze the input text, understand its meaning, and generate appropriate replies. If you're making a more advanced chatbot, you could connect it to a database or APIs to retrieve specific information like product availability or order status. Once the chatbot is built, you can again deploy it on website or messaging platform using tools like Heroku or AWS. This project is a fantastic addition to your resume. It shows your ability to solve real-world problems using AI to automate processes and build systems that improve user experience. By completing this project, you'll demonstrate your skills in Python, NLP, and deploying AI systems, which are in high demand. Plus, it gives you a practical example to discuss during interviews and sets you apart from problem solver ready to tackle real business challenges. Moving on to the seventh project idea. Now, if you're a developer working on a large project with multiple team members, understanding someone else's code is like solving a puzzle, especially when the code lacks clear documentation. Writing documentation is tedious and time-consuming, which is why most of the coders neglect it. This is a common problem often leading to miscommunication, bugs, and slower onboarding of new developers. Code Document Generator is an algorithm designed to bridge this gap. This project aims to automate the processing of creating detailed and accurate code documentation. You will build an algorithm that will analyze the structure, functions, and logic of the code base and generate human readable explanations for each part. To build this project, you can use technologies like Python and Hugging Face Transformers. A model like GPT-4 can be fine-tuned to understand code and generate meaningful descriptions. You'll also work with frameworks like Langchain for chaining tasks and Fast API to deploy the tool as a web service. You can also go ahead and add a front-end interface using Streamlit that will make the algorithm user-friendly and visually appealing. By completing this project, you'll gain hands-on experience with advanced AI concepts like working with large language models and deploying them in real-world applications, while also highlighting your understanding of generative AI. The next project idea that I'll be talking about has been inspired by Google's revolutionary Cotton Ace project, Pest Monitoring Application. This is basically an AI application that helps farmers protect their crops by guiding them on aspects like the best time to spray pesticides. Pests are a huge challenge for farmers. They damage crops, lower yields, and increase the cost of farming due to the needs of pesticides. Many farmers don't realize there's an infestation until it's too late, leading to significant financial losses. This is where technology, especially AI, that can step up and make a big difference. The application will use image recognition to identify and track pest infestations in real time. Farmers can upload photos of their crops, and the app will analyze the images to detect pests, classify them, and provide actionable recommendations such as whether to use pesticides or take other measures. To get started, you'll need a data set of pest images and healthy crop photos. Then you will need to train a machine learning model like CNN using frameworks like TensorFlow or PyTorch. Then you can go ahead and add a user-friendly interface, perhaps a mobile app where farmers can upload their images and receive instant feedback. You can even incorporate weather data or other regional trends to make the app more accurate. For this project, you'll use tools like TensorFlow or PyTorch for the AI model, OpenCV for image processing, and a cloud platform like AWS or Google Cloud for deployment. The mobile app can be built using Flutter or React Native to ensure it works on multiple devices. You could also add APIs for weather forecasting to give farmers extra insights. This project is a great addition to your resume. Employers value candidates who can demonstrate technical skills with practical applications, something that brings a change in the everyday lives of the people. Now moving on to the ninth project idea. Consider a situation where a marketing manager needs to come up with engaging content for products in an organization. 
Every campaign is going to require hours of brainstorming, research and editing to create creative emails, blog posts or social media captions. This is where an AI-powered marketing content generator can make life easier. Repetitive content creation takes up time and resources that could be better spent on creative ideas and connecting with customers. By building an AI marketing content creator, you can automate the task, making it faster and more efficient while still maintaining quality and personalization. To develop this project, you would start by training a generative language model like OpenAI's GPT or Hugging Face Transformers to create different types of marketing content. You can feed it examples of blogs, email campaigns, or social media posts to fine-tune the model for specific industries. Adding features like customizable tone, keywords, or target audience will make the tool more versatile. You can also integrate a user-friendly interface using tools like Streamlit or Fast APIs, so marketers can simply input a prompt and get ready to use content instantly. The tech stack will include Python as the primary programming language, libraries like TensorFlow or PyTorch for deep learning, and Langchain for chaining tasks like summarization and editing. Hugging Face can provide pre-trained models, while Pinecone or a similar vector database can store embeddings for fetching quick texts. To deploy the app, you can use cloud platforms like AWS or Google Cloud. Completing this project will add immense value to your resume. It showcases your expertise in generative AI, NLP, and creating end-to-end -end solutions for real-world problems. By building a marketing content generator, you will not just be solving a technical problem, but you will be creating something that directly drives business growth, improves efficiency, and demonstrates the power of AI in everyday tasks. Here comes the last project idea for this particular video. Managing finances today can be complex and overwhelming for many people. Financial advice are often expensive and individuals with limited resources may not have access to professional guidance. This is where a generative AI-powered chatbot can bridge the gap by offering personalized, real-time financial advice. To build this project, you would create a conversational AI model capable of understanding user inputs such as financial goals or challenges and provide tailored recommendations. The chatbot would use natural language processing to understand queries, retrieve the relevant data, and then generate meaningful responses. For example, if someone asks, how can I save for retirement, the chatbot could analyze the user's income, expense, and investment options to provide advice. The tech stack for this project includes Hugging Face Transformers to build and fine-tune the conversational model, then Langchain for integrating multiple knowledge sources, and Pinecone or Wave 8 for storing and retrieving user data efficiently. Tools like Fast API can be used to deploy the chatbot and a user-friendly interface can be created using Streamlit or React. Security protocols like OAuth can be added to ensure user data privacy. Completing this project will be a big win for both the individual and the organization. For you, it would demonstrate your ability to work on real-world AI problems using advanced tools and showcase your skills in generative AI and multi-model data integration. It's a standout addition to your resume, especially for fintech. So this is all for this video. I hope you guys were able to get some insight out of it. If you guys liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to Intelipass YouTube channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.